Welcome students. Let's revise chapter 2 of the subject Derivatives and Risk Management. Questions will be read out and you will have 7 seconds for each question to respond to. So let's begin. A composite risk measure that incorporates interest rate, inflation, credit, forex, etc into one consolidated figure. The answer is value at risk or in short VAR. A risk associated with human resource failures. The answer is operational risk. The largest commodity futures exchange in the world in terms of physical terms. The answer is New York Mercantile Exchange. At 99% confidence level under standard normal distribution, what is the value at 99%? The answer is 2.33. The first investment bank to release a data based on value at risk. The answer is JP Morgan. Systematic risks are also known as or is simply known as market risk. The next question. Spot price minus future price will give you what? The answer is basis. Let's move on. Instruments used to reduce risks in a portfolio. The answer is derivatives. The risk that occurs due to volatility in currency. The answer is exchange rate risk. The chance that an investment's actual return will be different than expected is called what? The answer is risk. The next question. The risk associated with difference in time zones. The answer is settlement risk. The next question. Assumption based on the fact that stock returns are distributed on Gaussian's concept. The answer is parametric approach. Let's move on. At 95% confidence level under standard normal distribution, what's the value at 95%? The 
the answer is 1.65. A risk associated with insufficient documentation. The answer is legal risk. The next question. Return on portfolio is calculated based on historical data in this approach. Which one are we talking about? The answer is non-parametric approach. The next question is about a mathematical technique. A mathematical technique which is used to estimate the possible outcomes of an uncertain event where the experiment can be repeated thousands of times to produce a large number of likely outcomes. The answer is Monte Carlo simulation. India's first exchange to offer commodity based contracts. The answer is Multi Commodity Exchange of India, or in short, MCX. The next question, which among these is not a limitation of value at risk? The answer is the third one, which states that it can be applied in abnormal situations, whereas it cannot be.